PID Toolbox 0.72 is released, and the Pro version has some new tools that make it easier than ever to understand noise patterns, spectral output, and filter tuning in general. I'm going to give an overview of these new tools, but first I'm going to give you some tips to make installation of subversions of PID Toolbox super easy. Usually when a new version is released, like version 0.7, there is a subsequent series of smaller, let's say, subversions like 0 0.71, 0.72, and so on. So if you have a working version of PID Toolbox 0 0.7 or later, did you know that you don't need to install anything to upgrade to a new subversion? The installer is only needed when upgrading from, say, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7, or when we eventually migrate to 0 0.8, and so on. But all of the subversions, 0 0.71, 72, etc., don't require reinstallation of runtime. In other words, if you are currently running PTB version 0 0.71, you simply download the newest version, unzip that folder and drag it to where your other versions are placed, and you're just going to go into the main folder there and run the PID Toolbox application. Now what's new with 0 0.72? Well, there are several small improvements. We have improved plot expand functionality, new trim improvements, and some new default color improvements. But the most significant improvement is all RPM and dynamic notch information is now displayed, overlaid on top of 2D and 3D spectral plots. This provides the most detailed and advanced spectral information ever available for filter tuning of FPV drones. It's never been easier to discriminate motor noise from resonant peaks and see exactly how effective your filter setup is performing. PID Toolbox is now tailored to utilize other Betaflight debug modes besides gyro scaled. Specifically, you can use the debug RC underscore interpolate to better understand how to customize RC smoothing without blindly applying RC link presets. Not to say that RC link presets are bad, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using them, but if you want to better understand what it's actually doing and to see the result of the smoothing parameters that you've chosen, this debug now, together with PID Toolbox version 0.72, can really allow you to see exactly how much latency you're going to incur as a result of the filter settings that you choose for your RC link. But second and most importantly is PID Toolbox can now use the debug mode FFT underscore FREQ, I'll call it FFT Freak, to see the dynamic notch behavior. Going forward for users of Betaflight 4.5 or later, I recommend not using gyro scaled anymore because the unfiltered gyro, along with many other parameters, are always being logged now, and instead defaulting to the debug FFT Freak. And this is what allows you to overlay the dynamic notch information. So using this debug, we get pretty much all the spectral information available, certainly the most comprehensive spectral information ever available for FPV drones, with pre and post filtered gyro information, pre and post dynamic notch information, all RPM notch information, etc., all in one log file. Okay, so that's a brief overview of version 0.72. I will talk in more depth about all this in future PTV Pro meetings, so be sure to sign up for those. Happy tuning!